New Hall Gaming. Game. Survive. Win. What is up the YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included and as promised or at least as mentioned uh, the mod is now updated so that we've got the supercomputer as well. I am trying to keep the mod up to date. Let me know if you have any issues. Um, obviously everything I do with the mods and stuff I'm having no errors or conflicts. Remember though that a lot of these, well actually 95% of the mods don't say that they are compatible with the Frozen Pack. They are, or at least they're working for me. As long as every single mod that I've installed, as long as it is spaced out compatible, it is working fine. It doesn't appear that the frost thing is affecting the game enough to matter, so that's good. If you search for, obviously, the frost, though, it will not show these mods. So go for spaced out and do it from there. Um, alternatively, there should be a link in the description that gives you a list of all of them anyway. Now, that's not going to work for me because that is too slow. So, I am going to need to pipe that up a bit better um, because the process here is a lot faster than how much water it's getting. So, what I'm going to do is actually pipe that into the main water line. That line that I've just connected it to is the line that comes from the melt room, which isn't enough water. Because as you can see, it comes down, but it's not a maximum amount of water that the back up of the pipe. So this way, it will go from the main water source into there. And that way, we should always have the level 2 research popping off. Level 1 research, of course, is just done by standing next to that little, little desk to the right of it. Of course, both of them have lights above them to increase by, I believe it's 10%. Then we have two of the material study desks uh, up on the surface where the red bolts are. That is level three research. Level four research is, of course, the data banks that we will get to. We don't need to do too much of that, though. Um, to do the statue, I think it's 250. Uh, I don't know yet, though, whether I have enough uh, infrastructure to actually get to that stage without having to do anything else i am likely going to have to make a small rocket and put that into orbit so that so over to that and you can see the rad bolts are flying about uh, we are likely to catch a couple of the nuggets not nuggets uh duplicates yes and as you can see it worked there so that one flew over it goes into there if it needs it and then if it doesn't it flies past it yes it will hit duplicates if they get in the way and cause a bit of damage but i've got plenty of hospitals there uh, else it will just hit the walls and that's not an issue at all. There is quite a good production of uh, Radbots being created because we've got so many. I think they're pushing about 140 to 150 rads, Radbots per day. Uh, with that, that of course means, what does that mean? That means that obviously the machines themselves need 100. So that's 1.5 times more than we need per machine or like three quarters of what we need for both the machines and we have six of them so i expect that the research for this should be reasonably quick once we've got to where i want to get to i can stop it that's fine again it's really not wasting much though when I mean, you just saw that jump to the second one because there was space uh, that one hit the nugget the duplicate but that's fine this sweeper is going to be just briefly set up to dump everything into that chest over there to the right because these guys keep trying to come up and make clean up and do things like that so if i tell it to do it for me the floor will be clean and these duplicates will have to spend less time in the death rays um, obviously they will have to come up there to do the research i've tried thinking of a way where you can kind of do it i suppose technically if the rad box come from above straight down yes that would make it safe but you wouldn't be able to then jump to the next one should that one be full so at least this way every single rad bolt that we create checks both of the machines if there's space it goes in if there's no space it doesn't simple uh, yeah there you go it's working nicely i'm happy with that let me know your thoughts on uh, if you, uh, yes i know automations you've seen me do automations before but let me know your thoughts what you think of other than it being a bit dangerous for the duplicates it's all right there you go miss one and then that one will go there and if it needs it no and then it gets rid of it into the wall and that one oh bit of lag there we go yeah so they're not needed because obviously they're both at 100 of course if i had the rad storage thing 
This would be fantastic to store that thousand rads. To be honest, I could also go for more machines uh, and it would store more of it, but it's a bit excessive, I think, at the minute in terms of speed. This room's starting to warm up now, so we are getting some pincho peppers grown, which is fantastic. That means that we are getting the two resources we require for that frostborn food. This room has gone too warm. Why? That's why we have run out of ethanol. But I already planned ahead of that. That's why it goes through into the storage there. And all I need to do is wire that in. And now it will go back again. Remember this ethanol is still negative 30, 40 degrees. So it just going round and round in a loop will still last a very long time. Again, we just need to get this food out. Get the frost buns. Uh, frost bread, whatever it's called. It's frost buns, right? I honestly can't remember. It's a bread looking. It looks like bread. Uh, sleet wheat and pincho peppers. Reasonably simple. The pincho peppers aren't that easy to grow, to be honest. Because of the heat that you need. And of course, in this map where heat is a delicacy in itself. Or a, a difficult to get. Or at least it was. Maybe I should have grew them like. You know, we're... Well, I don't know. I could have just grown them in the room. Maybe I should do that. And by the room, I mean the room where we are currently got the batteries and all that lot. Maybe I should just grow pincho peppers in there because it's like 30, 40 degrees. It's about 40, 50 degrees all the time. I didn't think of that. Right, well, there's an epiphany, if anything else. Research is progressing. Fantastic. Of course, we've got plenty of uh, water now going into that supercomputer, thanks to the piped mod. And we've got plenty of rad bolts being produced thanks to an abundance of weaselworts. Bit, bit of an issue down here. The carbon dioxide's not being pumped out as accurately as I wanted it to. That bedroom is getting caught. Now, I am going to move the bedrooms up. And it does turn out that there are actually uh, skins for the cots. Again, like I say, the, the, the frozen packs giving us new skins, so I'll use them too. I didn't realise... I don't know why I'm so bad at noticing these changes. It's just... One of them things, I guess. You don't need to unlock them. They come with the pack, it seems. So we'll get those used. But what I'm going to do is that bottom bedroom. I'm going to push up that one floor anyway. Also, the haven't got doors on. So I'm technically not getting the morale bo boost from them. Uh, I should be getting, I think, plus two. Because it's a barracks. Now, I am going to delete those four beds. So that we have six beds in each bedroom. Totaling 12 beds in total. Why? Well, it's obvious. Because we're not allowed more. 12 duplicates anyway so i will never need more than 12 beds so if i do that i can then decorate the rooms put a bit of furniture in there make it pretty and nice so everybody's happy and up until i get if i get to the comfy bed where we have an abundance of plastic i'm not going to bother now we had the lab bed that we used in the last season uh, but obviously the frosty ones have given us some really comfy looking beds proper beds so i'm going to use them i think and there we go. I don't think I've got a artist person, a uh, decor person, and I'm not really willing just yet to waste uh, some points and morale on doing so for two statues. So I'll, le I'll leave it looking like that for now. But there is our 12 fancy beds, or as fancy as they're going to get. Remember, though, that just because it's a skin, it makes no difference. Uh, the only difference you will get is when you actually upgrade them to the comfy beds. And jumping back over to the melt room because you can see the pump has stopped again. So the principle is quite simple. The suit keeps them safe from the heat and gases. They go in and build the ice temp shift plates. The ice itself is put in by the sweeper because the sweepers will auto fill the building should it need to. Um, so all it's do, all they have to do is go in there and literally build it. And as you can see, as they build it, they're immediately melting and that ice is turned into water. The water is pumped into the base and we use that for everything else. Now we've got a plan of attack on the research. You can see I'm going to go for what we need to go for and that is that. The two things that are in between are a bit annoying because we don't need them. Uh, really, anyway. Um, but we do need to get to that monument. So we're on 172 cycle. Uh, only 28 cycles to go until we get that uh, that part of the quest out of the way. Morale-wise, I'm not sure how close we are yet. I need to look into that, but I'm not too worried at the minute because we've got plenty of time. And until that food comes into play, I'm not even going to consider that we're going to get to 16 morale. 
Um, and we've already got the 12 duplicates, of course. There's then just the monument. So I'm not sure. I've never built the monument before. So I will look at its size and try and make a building or a room that's going to make it fit nicely and look like it's in place instead of just dumping it in some random area. Hopefully, if it will allow, I'll try and make it into like one big room that's a recreational room with a huge statue in the middle. My only concern is that the recreation rooms have a limit to size and it may not work. I'm having a few issues with the heating of the Pincho Peppers because the water that is going into them, or the, sorry, it's not water, it's polluted water. The polluted water that I'm watering them with is only at like 20 degrees so as that water goes in it's cooling them down so what i need to do is heat up the polluted water so that it's not fighting the heat that i'm trying to put in i did mention it earlier but i didn't do anything about it the ranch is overflowing a little bit so i'm gonna herd it it seems that the foxes uh, seven is the max, eight is too many, and the mammoths or bammoths at six is the max, seven is too many. So if I just kill off anything above that number on all four of the farms, the, what's it called, cramped I think it is, debuff should be removed, meaning that they start producing again properly at 100% um, and breeding. Um, and in doing so, uh, they should be a lot happier. So, all in all, that should work for us. Now, they are starving, and I'm unsure why I've got a farm here. They must eat a lot more than I probably expected them to. So, what I'm going to do is these pineapple dongles that's along here. I Pineapple pickles, whatever they're called. Um, they're for the foxes. I've got far too many of those. So, I'm going to wipe out this entire farm. Replace the farm plots for the hydroponics farm plots. And do the same again and just have two farms of the Bamoth's beetroots. They use ethanol for the liquid. So I'll just have to... The, the, the pipe that I've already got in for the ethanol where I'm using it to water the plants and cool the sleep wheat. I'm just going to wire it in. We'll look at that shortly. Yes, like that. So it's just going to go across the first lot and then it up left straight through the second lot and then back into it so that whole part that goes up and over is pointless really it was pointless anyway. i don't know why i did it so long but it doesn't matter um, and then we'll have two crops of this going do i really need them not really i mean the behemoths give us the fabric right the foxes give us wood i'm not actually using wood anymore for anything that I can think of. We've got 75, nearly 76 tons of wood. There are no wooden generators. There are no wooden heaters. Um, so, no, we don't. But it's a bit of a thing with me that I always have to have some form of farm. So let me know, actually, if you like that idea. I mean, I could just call them to just kill them all and get loads of barbecue. Uh, that works too. But it's always nice just having critters. I don't know why. I mean, technically, if I got rid of them, that would mean that at least three of the 12 people, a quarter, um, which are specifically drilled down to doing ranching and nothing but, will be able to do something a lot more interesting and probably useful for this playthrough. But I don't know. The, yeah, the Bahamas, the Bahamas give us the wheat, right? Not the wheat, what's it called? Reed fiber. Sure it is. I must admit, though, the baby ones are so cute with the massive tabs. And I still haven't got a solution for natural gas yet. Uh, there is, I can't remember what it is, but there is a process that releases natural gas. I can't remember what it is, though. Maybe it's the carbon dioxide filter where it filters carbon dioxide, I don't know, I'll have a look. Now of course with everything, power, everything requires power and we was fine, not so much anymore, we're starting to lose power which means that these generators twofold, either they're not running constantly because they're running out of heat or there's just not enough of them. 
I'm going to, and you can see I've got some coal generators there. They were backups to make sure that the pumps didn't stop running. Because those two pumps there, you can see, if they stop running, the heat stops being pushed into the generators and the entire generator room stops. So they were, about, they were a backup. You can see actually the top layer and the bottom, mm, the top layer's fine. Them, that middle and bottom layer's struggling. The blue, I don't want to see blue. I want it to be yellow, orange, or red. Uh, not too red because they will melt if they get too warm. I mean, they are only made of iron after all. Um, the hydrogen gas is helping push that, but they are, of course, struggling. Now, there are a few ways of getting around it and putting more heat into the room, and I will do that should this extra row of geothermal generators doesn't work. And if it doesn't work, uh, I've got no idea. I have, obviously. I've got many ideas. Whether they are actually relevant or not, I couldn't tell you until it actually happens. We are sciencing this as we go, and this is looking like it's going to work for now. They are all running, which is obviously positive. And as you can see, without the Atmos suits, all of these people and duplicates are having a really, really bad day. More progress on the Pincho Peppers, though still struggling with the liquid temperature problem. Uh, again, I likely next episode you'll probably find that's been shifted to the other room as I mentioned because that makes so much more sense. Basically I'm moving the heat from the room already to the room that's too cold when I could just grow them in the room honestly I don't know why I didn't think about that unless I'm missing something carbon dioxide is fine as an atmosphere for them as well so there's literally no reason why they can't just be grown in the I don't know what you'd call it actually like battery room or carbon dioxide room because that's where i'm letting all the carbon dioxide sit we do need to look at getting to the surface as well because i am i'm expecting to need data banks from orbit i don't believe there's any chance of us having enough to do the research in fact i know there's not so the only other way of getting data banks is to go to different places which we're trying not to do uh, so, hopefully I will have the resources and the, what do you call it, research to be able to just get a couple of simple rockets up there with an orbital, uh, what do you call it, dingle dongle. That's what you call it. Um, that will then give us data banks for days. You just leave it in orbit for a couple of cycles and then it comes. you come home with hundreds. I think all it needs is plastic, which realistically plastic is not going to be that difficult i've got no drecos though i could get drecos hydrogen drecos makes plastic i don't know we'll probably just um go the normal way and use oil because this map is so hot we uh, or cold we we can put heat into it the problem is where the lava level is there that you can see underneath that there is actually a lot of useful resources all of which are warm because that's how this map is built and oil is down there but to get there i've got to go through lava and i can't imagine how i would do that the only way i can think of is by dropping a crap ton of water which i don't really want to waste that much water but if i drop water or a liquid on it that will cool it down turn it solid and then i can dig through it i can't pump it away because you can't pump lava well you can pump lava actually but that's too cheesy because if you don't if you pump the water sorry if you pump the lava using a restrict valve so you're only sending it through at like 10 grams it doesn't make anything hot it's too cheesy though i'm not doing that yeah look at all that space could be growing pincho peppers and it's 42 degrees it's perfect right so next 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 episode we're going to have a huge pincho pepper farm in there no doubt And honestly, it seems irrelevant now. We've already established what I'm going to be doing next episode. But what I tried to do was bring the liquid through this room to take the heat as well. Now, this will work because liquids move in. Liquid, sorry, transferring heat is much more efficient than, than the gas. Um, this does work and it does put a lot more heat into it. But it's still not going to be the solution that we're going to go with on the next episode. And to be honest, as we stand now, we are where we need to be for this episode. And we are nearly at time anyway. So why not come back on the next episode 
with a much better pincho farm. Unfortunately, I don't have any more seeds, so I can't make it any bigger. Uh, but at least they will be more efficient in growing. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please hit like. Any comments are welcome as always. Until next time, take care. Goodbye.